leg day is officially complete. I'm filming this about 40 minutes after my leg day just so I had time to compose myself it was that hard. I decided to try something a little bit different for this video where I put my workout at the beginning of the video instead of in the middle or towards the end. Let me know if you like that style but give me one of these. In today's video, every guy wants to know how you get a body that is attractive to women. Like, what is the most attractive body type to women? Now, I often tell guys that it's the V taper or the athletic looking body that is so attractive to them. And a lot of guys say, well, how can I get that athletic V taper? Because some guys aren't born with that specific body type that's going to give them that triangular shape. I believe that's a mesomorph. So if you're not born with it or if you're wondering how you are going to get that specific body type, well, I'm going to answer that for you. That sounds good. Let's get into the video. Did you really think I was going to show you that? So now I am starting to end every shower with like two minutes, two to four minutes of a cold shower. And I'm doing that just to help boost my immune system and to also help with testosterone growth. And also cold showers have been shown to help make your skin look better and your hair better and you're just overall going to feel better too and it's going to bring down a lot of that inflammation from working out as well. And you're probably also not used to seeing me wear shirts like this. Doing that because all my other plain looking shirts, I need to do laundry and I was too lazy over the weekend to do that. Well, my laundry is finally going now, so that way I can bring to you the first point in this video. The reason why we're going to start with shoulders first is because having nice rounded shoulders is really going to give that impression or that illusion of a really strong physique. Because, like I said, when we're trying to taper into the body, if you can cap the side of your body with nice round shoulders, it's going to give you that illusion of a wider upper body. And honestly, the best way you're going to be accomplishing this is with a standard either standing or seated barbell overhead press. And if you're like me and you don't really like the overhead press because it, the barbell just does not feel good on your shoulder, and that's mostly due to just like biomechanics and angles of joints and momentum, like levers, all that fun biomechanic stuff, then you can substitute this in with a dumbbell overhead press. And why we're going to be doing this exercise first is because you're going to be able to lift the most amount of weight in this exercise. Like if you can only do a lateral raise of like 25 pounds, then you can easily do an overhead press with about 60 pound dumbbell. And plus, the overhead press activates all three heads of the shoulder muscle, which means there's going to be a bigger training stimulus on your shoulder. And when you give your body that kind of a stimulus, it promotes a, horm it promotes a hormone response and that hormone response is going to help you get that big shoulder look. And plus, you're breaking down the most amount of muscle fibers during that time too. And most guys who look really strong have really good looking shoulders. And that's always been the cornerstone of a really strong looking male physique is good round shoulders. And now if you're a guy that tends to have naturally not as wide of shoulders, and kind of more of like a box body, kind of like more of a endomorph, then you will definitely want to substitute some more side lateral raises in just so you can make up for that and really get that wide shoulder look. And why this looks so powerful is because good shoulders have always been a symbol of a powerful masculine physique. Guys who had good round shoulders were often seen as having a very powerful physique. Like, look at most guys in movies, like superhero movies. Like, are you going to see Chris Hemsworth or Henry Cavill with weak looking shoulders? That's not going to happen. They have very good round shoulders. Well, now I just got off of a company Zoom meet and still kind of bad news. Don't have any idea when the gym is going to open. So now I'm going to film this third part because, well, I meant to yesterday, but I had a business meeting that went a little longer than I thought, which I don't mind because I haven't seen those coworkers in way too long. And the second part when it comes to getting that V taper is going to be building up the lats. So the reason you're gonna to wanna to build up the lats is because when you look at the lats in an anatomical diagram, they literally look like wings on the back of your back. That, that's not really stupid. Let's, I'm, I'm gonna try and cut that out of, out of editing. Actually, probably I, I won't because that was too good to let go. But they look like big wings and you look at guys who have a well-developed back. They have a really wide back. And the best thing you're going to be doing for the lats is to do just vertical pulls. So like chin-ups, pull-ups, and if you can't do chin-ups yet, assisted chin-ups, all that stuff. That's going to be really helpful in developing that 
wide looking back. And from checking this whole park out, no one is obeying the stay at home order anymore. I think people are kind of sick of the mayor constantly extending the stay at home order longer and longer. We've already talked about getting the shoulders bigger so it gives that illusion of a wider upper body. Now we need to get the back bigger, which means we have to work on the lats. Like I said, they're literally going to branch out on the body like that. And when you really start developing this, it's going to give you that illusion of your back just gets wider. I would definitely say you want to work yourself up to doing a chin up with about 45 pounds between your legs. So I would definitely get a dip belt for that. Or just get, if you don't have a dip belt, just try and do something to really challenge yourself when it comes to pull ups or chin ups. Taking daily walks is something I need to start doing again for my own mental health because like I may have said in a previous video, Denver's stay at home order just got extended until May 8th. And honestly, I think our governor or mayor is pulling a political temper tantrum because of that. Like that's why he did it. And it's just like, this is just reminding me that even though we are stuck at home, we're not truly like stuck at home. That I can still get outside. I know I shouldn't admit to this, but now, I'm on my way to break social distancing just a little bit. Yo, is anyone else going to be taking advantage of these insanely low fuel prices? It's kind of awesome because my car already doesn't have a big, big gas tank to begin with. And then right there is the final price. I feel like I'm pretty much stealing it. As I am possibly the luckiest son of a there ever is. So you know that I broke my lens like at the beginning of quarantine and it literally took three weeks to get my lens replaced. Well, I was pumping gas right over there at that gas station and holy shit, I, I put this camera on top of my car so I could fill up with gas. Well, with the crazy wind and how slippery my, I should have known better, how slippery the top of my car is, it literally just fell right into the concrete. And I'm thinking, oh shit, I just broke my camera like, I was going to use some of the money I have from my coaching my clients and the stimulus money too to really, really just like buy another camera because I want the external mic input. So I thought that, oh shit, I, I just broke my camera, but no, thank God it still works. And if the sound's a little off, that's probably why. I'm going to give you the third thing when it comes to getting that B taper body. And the third thing you're gonna to want to do is bring in or build up your obliques. You wanna focus on that. The reason why is because it, obliques are actually on the side of the abs and most people like that's why i say if you want a thin waist don't really start crunching like doing side crunches with your obliques because the muscle fibers are pointed in like that so if you really do want to work the obliques it's got to be like that or like that and one of the ways arnold actually began to shrink his waist besides doing stomach vacuums is he actually put just a regular towel rod or whatever on his back and just start twisting like that and he said he did four sets of 100 reps every single day and it's actually not too hard to do that exercise so i can see why and that having those obliques is really going to bring in your midsection so you get that lean v taper look so we have already discussed about why you need to build up your shoulders with a shoulder press and some side lateral raises too and then we talked about the back with chin-ups, pull-ups, or anything that requires like a vertical pull. And now we finished up with the obliques. So that's bringing in the abs. I was actually pretty, pretty goddamn hot in this car. So I'm going to go back home and finish the video up there. So see you then. Guys, I'm going to wrap the video up here. Now, if you do like videos like this, give me one of these. And so that my... YouTube channel or my videos can be seen more and more by other people since that's the only thing YouTube really cares about anymore. And if you have any topics you want me to cover in the future, let me know in the comment section down below. And also, what are you doing? If you really, really are serious about building that muscular body that you want, all you need to do for the first step is subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you all later. Is to go even further beyond!